In this video, we're going to model a house from an imported JPEG. First, I'm going to delete the scale figure because I don't need it. And then I'm going to turn on my favorite tools. When I need more, I just right click and turn on the ones I need, but I use these the most. So first I'll import the floor plan. Go to import, navigate to it. Notice we're on all supported types. Find the floor plan. Make sure image is checked and then import. Click on the origin, drag and release. So here we have the floor plan, but it's not to scale. I'm going to scale it based on a known dimension. The door is two foot eight inches, the opening that is. So I'll click on the tape measure hit the control key to toggle into measure mode, then click on the opposite corners. This is just a picture, so I'm not clicking on geometry, but for our purposes, it's good enough. So you see the length is a little over one foot. Make a second click, and then type the dimension you want. Two foot, eight inches, enter enter again. And now the whole plan has sized proportionately. Next, I need to trace it. And there are different ways to do this. Here's just one. Take the rectangle, click, and click. Go to View, Face Style, X-ray so that we can see through and then trace. I'll start out by clicking the offset tool, hovering it over the rectangle, dragging it in a bit and then typing six for six inches and it adjusts to that. I'm ignoring this thicker chase wall on the JPEG. Then click on the pencil tool, trace this line, then with the move tool and holding the control key, copy it. Type five and it will snap to five inches. Now trace this line. And then again with move and control, type five and there it is. I'm going to move the JPEG aside and just use it for reference. And then I'm going to turn the X-ray off because I don't need it anymore. With the eraser, I'll erase these connecting lines. Then with push-pull, I'll pull the walls up 10 feet. So how would I get this opening in there? Well, before I do the openings, I'm going to put in a floor slab. So I'll push-pull this up five inches, and then I'll inference match these slabs to it. Now I'll make a guideline that's seven feet tall for the door head. Then I'll click on the rectangle, match it up to that guideline, type two foot eight, Enter, 
and then push pull it through. And you can do all the doors like that. Let's do one more, the exterior doors. So I am going to make a guideline seven feet and then take the rectangle, line it up with that guideline and type six foot. Then I'll push pull it through. Now it's hitting the floor slab. So what I'll do is I'll just select this rectangle and hit delete. And there's a nice cut through. And I can take the rotated rectangle, click there, click there, and then come out five feet. And then there's a step into the house. Here is a fireplace. I don't want to model that from scratch, so what I'll do is go to the warehouse and do a search for fireplace. I have a lot of choices. I think I'll take this one. And here it is. I'm going to need to place it. First, hover the Move tool over it and then click on one of those crosses and rotate it. Then move it back till you get the on edge and make sure it's on the floor which it is and here is that fireplace looks like I need to pull it out just a little bit though So notice the flashing there. That's because this plane is adjacent to that plane. It's called Z-fighting. SketchUp doesn't know which plane to display. But I'm going to put a picture of a fire in there anyhow. So I'm going to go to File, Import, Fire, All Supported Types, Image, Import, Click at two ends, and there you have it.